Okay, so today we're going to review another mining motherboard. This time this is from Biostar. This is the TB250 BTC Pro. This is the Pro version because we also have a BTC without Pro, which has only six PCIe Express slots. This one has actually 12, hence the Pro name. And as you can see, we have the Hammer of Thor. So this is Pro. Yeah. I mean, come on, Biostar, look at this. USB power engine. The USB power engine supports SATA power interface with ultra high load of USB connectors and offers sufficient power to the system for stable operation. What kind of marketing, guys? But okay, let's uh, let's check out the motherboard. So let's do a quick unboxing. And look at that. We have the same stuff that we find in every motherboard. CD which is useless, I.O. shield, which is useless for mining, SATA cable, which is okay for SSD. And then we have, of course, our motherboard. Obviously, it doesn't come with CPU, no memory, but I've been using this motherboard for quite some time now, and I haven't had the time to review it. Let's correct that now. And let's have a closer look to the motherboard itself. All right, let's see what we have. So we have Intel chipset. This is for seventh gen CPUs. And then they only have two memory slots. So they skimmed on that which is pretty bad from Biostar, but it, this is enough for mining motherboards, so it's okay. And then we have, obviously, our SATA connections, uh, power, everything. Do know that unlike the Gigabyte FinTech, this one doesn't come with a module to power on the motherboard, so you will need one of these uh, accessories, which plugs into the front panel header and lets you power on the whole machine. And this only works with the uh, power or reset, so you will need two of these to uh, reset and power on if you want. These are pretty cheap on AliExpress, a bit more expensive on Amazon. So here we have our 16x PCIe slot, and then we have uh, 11, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 1, so that's 12 in total. And unlike the Atrock motherboard, this one has uh, sufficient space between the PCIe Express slots, so you don't have to shield them. And uh, Biostar do tell you on the website that actually they left enough space, so this is pretty good on them. And here you have uh, auxiliary power, so Molex if you're going to max out uh, the PCIe Express slot. So if you're going to use all of them or if you're going to use power hungry cards, you're going to have to plug in Molex power here. So you have two of them. Personally, I have eight cards, so three here and five here. And I haven't plugged this auxiliary power, so I'm using a mix of 3060 Ti and 3070 and I have them at the power limit of 120 watts or 130 watts for the 3070s and i haven't any problems whatsoever so i think you should be fine without finally let's have a look at the ports so first we have our old ps2 and then we have a dvi only output so no hdmi no display ports so if you have if you are using like me a hdmi dummy plug when you want to remote control this computer, this machine, you cannot use the iGPU. Then you have USB ports, USB 3, Ethernet, so no Wi-Fi, and finally the audio jack. Now let's check quickly the BIOS. So you only have two settings to pay attention to. So if we go to chipset, then mining mode, this should be enabled and then go to PCI, PCH uh, IO configuration and go to PCIe Express configuration and make sure each PCIe Express slot is enabled and at Gen 2. So you have 12 PCIe Express slots, so you need to make sure all of them 
I enabled and at Gen 2. And Gen 2, this is to make sure your, your risers are stable. And mining mode, this is uh, basically above 4G decoding, amongst others. So what do I think about this motherboard? Well, I have two of these and two of the uh, Gigabyte B250 FinTech. And so far, both have been pretty stable. So I cannot recommend one above the other. They, they are the same for me. They work the same. They're st stable. Uh, each one of them is as stable as the other. And really, I have no complaint. My main gripe with both actually is that they only have uh, DVI output. So you can just use the iGPU with um, uh, HDMI dummy plug. And uh, I use this to access my rigs uh, with TeamViewer. The problem is I can buy some DVI dummy plugs, but for some reason, as soon as I plug one of these, nice hash will uh, have some kind of troubles. I'm not sure exactly why. You will see this semaphore. So it's like a race condition between trying to access the output or I'm not exactly sure. And I'm a dev, I'm a software developer, but I'm not sure what what this problem comes where this problem comes from. But anyway, every time I try with one of these DVI dummy plugs, I don't know if it's the plug themselves or it's because uh, it's the chipset or something else it doesn't work it locks it uh it has a lot of troubles so i cannot connect with team viewer so this is my main problem with this motherboard and the the one i tested the msi doesn't have this problem because it has hdmi output i just plug in the hdmi dummy plug and everything works properly so do i recommend this card yes if you can get your hands on one uh, the new ones don't have uh, this 12 GPU stuff. But I don't think they make any of these anymore. You can only buy secondhand or an AliExpress and you never know if you're going to get an original or not. But this is a pretty cool card. So if you find somebody selling one of these yeah, on Craigslist, if you're in the United States or Le Bon Coin, if you're in France, other countries I don't know, I do... Uh, highly recommend these uh, motherboards. They don't have any problem like the ASRock, which I uh, quoted, which has like uh, the PCIe Express uh, slots are very close to one another and you have to actually put aluminum between them to avoid uh, electrical troubles. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.